my question about diagnostic, especially when it comes to autism. We yep. know uh, there's strong evidence to support that the structure of our brains through an MRI can be seen different than others. Mm -hmm. So why don't we do that to diagnosis then? I mean, long term, that'd be way better than the process they do now. And it's far more accurate, if you will, based on some studies, they can actually see certain parts of the brain that are more likely going to be autistic. It's denser in some spots and less dense in others. Why don't yeah. we use that as diagnostics? Why are we still having conversations to diagnose? I have an answer for that. The other thing is ASD is a spectrum, right? I don't think there is an autistic brain. It's like they're all different neurodivergences and somebody who has like really high on sensitivity will be different on logical reasoning. I think you might be able to identify one specific subset of autism, but then uh -huh. all the other ASDs and other neurodivergences wouldn't show up in the same way. Some of it is like you can do genetic tests that finds a 20% chance of whether or not this person is autistic. But then there's yeah. all the other stuff that comes with it. 